hello guys welcome to today's pixel lab tutorial video in this video i'm gonna show you how to create this anidas logo using pixel lab mobile application <coughs> excuse me so i'm going to delete everything that i've done yeah. and this background you can change it by coming down to background say can change the color maybe to gradients then you have the default background so the first thing we are gonna do is to change our artboard or our image size mine is already set to youtube thumbnail yours might be square so you have to change it back to youtube thumbnail then after that you are gonna create three rectangles to do that just click on the plus icon here click on shape then resize the rectangle something like that is fine then you click on ok now i want to center this particular rectangle to do that just come to properties here then click on the relative position just click on these two options with that you center the object to the screen so the next thing we want to do is to make two different duplicates of this rectangle to do that just click on copy twice now you have two different duplicates making three objects so you have the first one here the second one we want to center that to this i want to put that at the center of the screen as well just click on relative position and just click on the two icons so the third one we want to send the third that to just relative position fine now we have all three rectangles at the center of the screen so the next thing we want to do is to put some space just put them apart to do that we leave the one at the center as it is the one below we want to send, make it move to the right hand side to do that just come click on the position here increase the move by to seven points then click on the right arrow to move it like 10 times this one one more time making 11 oh sorry 10 times is fine then go to the top rectangle click on position again increase the move by to seven then click on left 10 times Think that's fine so now the next thing you want to do is to increase the height of this left rectangle a little bit to do that just look at the little dots beside the bigger circle you have to drag that downwards a little bit think that's fine if you make any mistake you can always click on this redo icon at the top menu so the second rectangle we are going to move that down a little bit as well so i think that's fine now we have all the three rectangles the way we want them to be so what we are going to do now is to match all three rectangles perfect so now we want to change the rotation of these rectangles just increase the rotation to 150 degree angle of 150 perfect so this angle is perfect just click on the check mark so the next thing we want to do is to position this object to where we want it to be you can position it anywhere actually just move it to a more a more convenient place where you'll be able to see everything properly so now i want to create it want to like divide cut out the part that we don't need out of this um group to do that just click on the plus icon click on shapes now this shape just 
put it in a nice way because we want to cut some of these rectangles i think that is fine we are going to leave this color as white but click on check mark it's fine but the main the three rectangles change their color to black to do that just come to color change the color to black fine then select both the three rectangles and the new rectangle and match both objects fine now that you have matched both objects uh, what you want to do is to come to the right hand side there and click on erase color then the white is going to cut out um, some part of the three rectangles which is what we want so now the next thing you are we want to do is to like um if you notice on this layer panel there's still some um, placeholder for the white rectangle to remove that placeholder what you are going to do is to create another rectangle now i want to give it a black color now put it just within any part of the main rectangle click on ok now select both match them okay now we have taken out the white placeholder now we have our adidas logo which is looking great so the next thing you want to do is to create your text the adidas text actually you can just look for any or any text um any font size that match that matches um the adidas um, font so i wouldn't be doing much about that but just to show you how it is adidas okay i think that's fine so now let's just play around with it with the font style i think i would like it to be bold perfect then i increase the size now we are going to change the color to black perfect guys now we have our adidas logo just group the two objects together or merge them together so to speak perfect now we have our adidas logo you can increase the size the way you want and also you can change the background of the artboard to whatever you want it to be you can see now we have our adidas logo this is the full screen uh, with that we have come to the end of this pixel lab tutorial thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video thanks for now